Prophecy Tea is sponsored by a Chinese spy balloon shot down over Myrtle Beach. Stick with me. This has been an interesting day. I believe that this spy balloon is a warning from God, and it all started last night when my friend pointed out Zechariah 1 to me. Let's go there. First, let's go through how Bible prophecy works. There is nothing new under the sun. Bible prophecy is cyclical. Whatever patterns have been done in the past will be the patterns that emerge in the future. Whatever has been shall be, and whatever is done shall be done. There is no new matter under the sun. You will see these patterns repeat since Genesis. Zechariah begins by talking about the eighth new moon in the second year of Denarius. Let's start there. So let's establish what the eighth new moon is in the Hebrew calendar. The eighth moon, new moon in the Hebrew calendar landed on November of this year. Now, during that time, just as Zechariah 1 starts with, during that time, a stillness had gone out. Warnings had been made during the fall feast season of the Bible. So October and September, warnings had gone out that people needed to repent. They needed to turn back from the ways of the world and turn back to God. That call for repentance went out. Now, the month of Heshvan, which is mentioned here, is a month of stillness where there's a silent that, silence that has come on the land. I experienced this personally. God was giving me nothing to tell you guys from November, December, barely anything in January, until finally now he's starting to speak to me again and showing me different things that are lining up in prophecy. It was the same message going out fall of this year that went out in Zechariah 1.3. And you shall say to them, thus says the Lord of hosts, turn back to me, declares the Lord of hosts, and I shall turn back to you. Did we turn back? After the warning goes out, later Zechariah talks about the 24th day of the 11th new moon. Now that is the Shavat new moon, okay? Now that lands this year on February 15th will be Shavat 24 on the Hebrew calendar. What did Zechariah see in his day during this season? I saw in the night and behold, a man was riding a red horse. He was standing among the myrtle trees in the glen and behind him were red sorrel and white horses. So he was being followed by more horses. Um, sorrel in Hebrew, if you look that up, it is bright red and there's speckled connected to that as well. The balloon was shot down at Myrtle Beach and I do not believe in coincidences. Since I don't believe in coincidences, we do need to talk about trees because myrtle is a very particular type of tree in the scriptures. Now, Monday, February 6th, is the 15th of Shavat. That is the new year for trees. It marks the beginning of the new year for trees, which is a season where the earliest blooming trees of the land of Israel emerge from their winter sleep and begin their fruit bearing cycle. Interesting, right? If we dig into myrtle trees in the Bible, it is a beautiful picture. Myrtle is used to decorate the sukkah booths during the Feast of Sukkot, which is a shadow picture of the wedding feast with Yeshua. Myrtle is a symbol of the recovery and establishment of God's promises. Myrtle is a picture of his covenant and his promises being fulfilled. Let's go back to that red horse. Remember how I was telling you? prophecy in the Bible is cyclical. Let's look at Revelation 6 at the end of the Bible. And another horse, fiery red, went out and it was given to the one who sat on it to take peace from the earth, that they should slay one another and a great sword was given to him. Let's look back at what Zechariah saw. The man who was standing among the myrtle trees answered, these are whom the Lord has sent to patrol the earth. In the scriptures, trees are often used to depict human beings. So the myrtle trees would be those humans who are in covenant with the Most High, who are holding on to the promises of God and keeping his word. We could see a confirmation of this in Mark 8, where Yeshua, Jesus, healed the blind man. And he asked him, do you see anything? And the blind man looked up and said, I see people, but they look like trees walking people are often referenced as trees in the scripture. In Zechariah, we see the patrol going out and doing a measure of the earth. And they are standing among the myrtle trees, meaning God's covenant people are still here among all the other people, but they are scattered throughout the earth still. And behold, the earth remains at rest. What is rest? Rest is peace, right? 
In 1 Thessalonians 5, we have the reference to peace and security. While the people are saying there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman. So now remember, when a woman is in labor, it doesn't happen all at once. The contractions get closer and closer and closer together. What is the warning we need to heed? Return to me, says the Lord of hosts. Repent, the kingdom of heaven is near. Do not be like your fathers. Turn from your evil ways and your evil deeds. What does repenting and returning to him look like? It's faith in Yeshua, commandments of God together.